Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second part of section 3.3, Optimization with Linear Programming. And we're going to start today's lesson with a vocab word, and it's a word that we have seen before. It is optimize. Optimize means to seek the best price or amount that is desired to minimize costs or to maximize profits. What do these problems look like? Well, these problems look like everybody's favorite word problems. And when we read these problems, we have to ask ourselves a couple questions. And one of the questions is, what are the limits? Well, limits are something along the lines of no more than, no less than, at least, more than, less than, available, you have, has, includes, right? Those would be your limits. Limits in these problems will be your inequalities. Something else we have to ask ourselves, how do we get to the limits? Well, how do we get there will be your variables. You will get there using your variables. And then what are we optimizing? Optimizing is going to be your function. That is going to be your end result. Um, it's going to be what you plug your coordinates into. So let's take a peek at one of these problems. Now, I know it looks long, but take a deep breath. Right, and make sure you read the problem. Right, read the problem first, and we'll go back and answer everything we can. So we have a landscaping company has crews who mow lawns and prune shrubbery. The company schedules one hour for mowing jobs and three hours for pruning jobs. Each crew is scheduled for no more than two pruning jobs per day. Each crew schedule is set up for a maximum of nine hours per day. On average, the charge for mowing a lawn is $40, and the charge for pruning shrubbery is $120. Find a combination of mowing lawns and pruning shrubbery that will maximize the income the company receives per day for one of its crews. Well, let's go ahead and start with what are our limits? So we have to go through again and find all of our limits. So we read this, and a company schedules one hour for mowing jobs and three hours for pruning jobs. That's not a limit, that's just what the company is scheduling. Well, each crew is scheduled for, here's a keyword, no more than, no more than what? Two pruning jobs per day, so our limits would be pruning jobs. Is there anything else? Each crew is scheduled to set up for a maximum of nine hours. A maximum, a maximum is another limit, so a maximum of nine hours. And so I'm going to say hours, I'm going to say nine, and then pruning jobs, you have two. Now, what are we getting to our limits? We are getting to our limits, mow lawns and prune shrubbery, because that's what the question's about. So mow and prune. Mow, I will say, is going to be my variable M, and prune is going to be my variable P. Now, what are we maximizing, or what are we trying to optimize, or what are we trying to minimize? We are trying to maximize, all right? So maximize, whatever I'm trying to maximize is going to be what I'm trying to optimize, and I'm maximizing the income. Income is also money, so it's just max income. So now, let's write an inequality for the limits. Well, my limits, pruning jobs, right? How do, I, how do I get to my pruning jobs? Well, you have P, your variable, right? And we want no more than two. How do we represent no more than two? With a less than or equal sign, and that is two. And then we also have, for limits, is hours. How do we get two hours? Well, does it describe, does the problem describe how many hours we get for a mowing and pruning? Well, we get one hour, whoops, one hour for mowing jobs and three hours for pruning jobs. So that's how we add up our hours. So we get one hour per mowing job and then plus three hours, plus three hours for a pruning job. And can you go over? Nine hours? No, you can't. You have to stay under nine hours. So again, you need a less than or equal sign, or less than two and e less than and equal to nine. And so now those are our limits. And when we try another problem, you'll see the two other things that we're going to include with our limits. And then our optimizing function, 
what's going to be our optimizing function? What are we trying to maximize? We're trying to maximize income. So how do we get to our income? What are we looking for? We're looking for dollar signs. So a mowing a lawn, you get 40 bucks. And pruning shrubbery, you get 120. So how could we represent that? Well, we have our F of M and P. And that's going to equal 40 bucks per mowing job. So I'm going to label it 40M plus 120 for pruning shrubbery. So I'm going to say 120 P. Now this is the function that you would plug your coordinates into. We would graph this and plug your coordinates right into here to see what would give you a max profit. Well now let's try another one and then we're going to graph this and actually answer the question. So number two, again, the very first thing you have to do is actually read the problem and try to understand what the problem is asking. So your semester tests in math class consists of multiple choice and long answer questions. Each multiple choice question is worth six points and each long answer question is worth 10 points. You may choose up to 12 questions to answer or of any type to answer. It takes two minutes to answer each multiple choice question and four minutes to answer each long answer question. You have 40 minutes to complete the test. Assuming that you answer all of the questions you attempt correctly, how many of each type should you answer to earn the high score? Well, starting with limits. What do we have limits on? Well, right here you may choose up to 12 questions. So we have a limit on questions. And how many questions? There's 12 what other do we have? What else do we have limits on? Well, we keep reading. You have 40 minutes. Have is the key word, 40 minutes to complete the test. So, time. And time is going to be 40 minutes. How do we get to our limits? What are our variables going to be? Well, it says at the start that the math class consists of multiple choice and long answer questions. So, my limits would be, or how do I get there actually, would be multiple choice, which I'm going to label M to start off with, and then long answer, which will be L. What am I optimizing? What are we trying to maximize or minimize? We're trying to get the highest score, so we're optimizing score. So now let's go through and see if we can set up our inequalities. Well, we have 12 questions. Can we answer more than 12 questions? You may choose up to 12, but we can't go over 12, so 12 has to be greater than or equal to questions. Well, how, what questions do I get to pick from? I get to pick from multiple choice and long answer questions, so it's just going to be M plus L. So here's one of my inequalities. Then time, right? Time, how long does it take to answer a multiple choice question? It takes uh, four minutes. It takes four minutes for a long answer, but multiple choice takes two. So I'm going to say 40 because we can't go over 40. 40 is greater than or equal to. And then it's 2m because it takes two minutes for a multiple choice question plus and then long answer questions take four minutes and so it's going to be 4L. So now here are my limits. What am I trying to optimize? I'm trying to optimize the score. So we're going to say F of M and L equals how many points? Now I need to look for points because score is made up of points. So I look, I get six points for multiple choice. So how do I write that? That's going to be 6m. And then I have 10 points for what? 10 points for long answer. So it's going to be plus 10l. Now when we go ahead and graph this, I'm going to let multiple choice be x and long be y. Just to keep my uh, axis so I know what my axes are. So again, this would be x and this would be y, x. And y. So again, my M's are X's and my L's are Y's. So now we have this stuff right here along with the optimization function. And so let's go ahead and graph these. 
So what do you have to do? Remember, we have to subtract the 2x over. So it's going to be 4y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 40. Then we divide by 4. So y is less than or equal to negative 1 half plus 10. So now we go up 10 on our y-intercept and put a point. Now we're going down 1 over 2, we're creating a negative slope. Down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. Now let's go ahead and draw a line right through there. It's going to be a solid line. Then let's go ahead and graph this guy for the questions that you can answer. Subtract the x over, so y is less than or equal to negative x plus 12. Go ahead and graph this guy. So putting a point on 12. Now we're just going down one over one, down one over one, creating a negative slope. Draw your line through it. Now remember, what else do we have to do? And I kind of missed there. What else do we have to do with this problem? Is we have to figure out which way we want to shade. Well, remember, how do we shade? We pick point zero, 0.00 and plug them in for both. So here with my blue guy, I pick 0 plus 0. So is 0 less than 40? Yes, it is. So I'd shade below the blue guy. The red guy, I pick 0 and 0, 0 less than 12. Yes, it is. So I'd shade below there. And so I would be shading in this area. Now we figure out what area we're shading. Now we have to find out our points. Well, here is one point, and that point is 4, 8. You go over 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's coordinate point 4, 8. Well, notice though, can we have can we have any questions below zero? Can we answer any negative long answer, negative multiple choice? No, we can't. So I guess another inequality would be x has to be greater than or equal to zero, and y has to be greater than or equal to zero. So we have cutoff points here and here. This point is 12, 0. This point here is 0, 10. So now we're going to take these points just like what we did uh, in the last video and plug them in for our optimization function. So I take 0, 10, and I plug that in. So it's going to be 6 times 0 plus 10 times 10, and that gives me 100. Then I go to coordinate point 4, 8, plug that in, 6 times 4 plus 10 times 8, that equals 104. And then finally, I have coordinate point 12, 0, I plug that in here, so it's going to be 6 times 12 plus 10 times 0, and that gives me 72. Now remember, what did our question ask? Our question asked, what would give us the highest score? Well, which one of these is the biggest number? It's this guy right here, 104. So then, what would we answer? My, I have 4, 8. Well, what was my x? My x was, my x was multiple choice. So, I would answer 4, multiple choice multiple choice, multiple choice, and then how many long answer? I'll answer eight long answer. All right, and this is exactly what we are looking for. And now just be patient because this takes a little bit. Go ahead and read the problems, read them carefully, try to understand them, and then follow our procedure and it will take time, but you will get it, all right? Just stick with it and you will get it. And that does it for section 3.3, optimizing or optimization with linear programming. Good day.